Good evening, fans, and welcome once again to another Red Raider contest. This is Gary McNeil coming to you from the London High School Gymnasium. I believe Lou Mott is on his way up. He'll be up here in just a second. We'll give you a quick rundown because uh, they're going to girls win this game. We'll win the championship outright no matter what happens against the game against Lakewood this coming Saturday. The London girls are coming in with a league record of 7-2 uh, and two and an overall record of 15-3. and three. Madison Plains is coming in with a league record, <laughs> a record of 0-9 uh, oh and 1-14. And and so if records mean anything, London should be able to walk away with this championship pretty quick, easy tonight. Uh, I also want to make a reach a thank you note out to some more pizza supporters. Uh, Miss Holbrook sent pizza and, and uh, water up to us tonight, so I uh, want to thank, thank them for that, for supporting, and for coming back here and supporting the London girls, and uh, we'll go from there. we got about three minutes. Lou just walked in, pick up my here. Oh, he's got on his new short shirt. Where'd you get that shirt at? Senior Players Championship. He must have been out there with... Uh, with um, Tiger Woods when when my when my brother Tiger come out of the woods and won and won that thing. But anyway, I just tell him what was going on. And, uh, if the girls win tonight, they win the championship outright. Doesn't matter what happens with Lakewood. And so uh, is that for both divisions, Ohio and Buckeye? Or? No, they just win their division. We'll win our division. We're in, like there's two divisions here. Okay. Well, that'll make us uh, nine and two. The Warsaw Courthouse is already nine and two in their division. I don't know if they got any more games or not. No, you just basically win your division. I don't think they have a playoff for between the two divisions. Uh, we've got some pr pretty good kids coming in here tonight. We got, uh, by the way, we got Buckeye Ford, who's one of our sponsors. Hey, give me another hat. I'll get that a little bit later. We're running short on time here. But we got Young uh, shooting 50% uh, uh, from the uh, floor uh, so far and 59%, 56% from the free throw line. So between her and Harris, they're pouring it on. Harris is shooting like 39% from the floor and 74% from the free throw line. They both had big games, as we know. Um, Young had, um, what she have, 19. Harris had 25 the last night, uh, the other night against Bexley. So these girls are in here and are all fired up, and uh, they have a reason to be. And uh, they're, they're both going to want it pretty bad. That's right. I just uh, don't know how good uh, Plains is going to be with the record like they've got. But like you say, a lot of times you. Cross county rivals, you just throw the records out the window. I remember three or three or four years ago, I got there at the half, and London was supposed to win big, and Madison Plains was ahead, and they they ended up beating London. And last year, they gave them everything they wanted. Came right down to the so wire. Anything can happen as we get ready for. Uh, I think they're going to give some flowers to the parents. Uh, the kids are. They've had an exceptional season, and uh, I'm still waiting for them to come and. Say thanks, Gary, Lou, and Carl for putting our games on TV. Maybe one of them will do that one of these days. See, we have some cheerleaders. Yeah, we got the cheerleaders. I don't know if that might be the freshman. Is that the varsity cheerleaders or freshman cheerleaders? I don't know them when in the just cheerleaders. Oh, you think it might be? Okay, we'll take the camera down on the floor and we'll get ready for the armoring the flag, I think. Who won the reserve game? Uh, London kind of run away with the reserve game. They run it by about, I'd say, 30 points. No, 25, 30.
Okay, we're back and ready to roll with senior night as we get a had a shot there. The I don't know if they're cheerleaders or just a bunch of girls decided to do some cheers. I don't know, Carl. I think I recognize the one. I think they are cheerleaders. They're just volunteers. They certainly jump pretty well in their practice jumps. Yeah, I think the one in the middle, I recognize her in the triangle part in the front and the bigger girl. So I'm pretty sure they're the, the varsity and the reserve cheerleaders together. Jennifer Matus, she's the only senior on the team. She meets her mother at half court. Get a good shot. Our second senior is Cindy Long. I forgot Cindy Long was a senior. I thought she was only a junior. Cindy Long and her mother. I was thinking that Cindy was a junior. We was going to have her for another year. I have, haven't I? I, don't, I guess I was trying to keep Cindy here for another year. She, she might not like that too well. Some junk, five foot ten. Let's see where we got. Lindsay Dupree, she's five foot six. They don't have a whole lot of height. Five ten, that's decent height. Tracy Creamer. Stephanie Payton will be starting for Plains. Stephanie Raider. These girls are coming. Cindy Long, a senior, she'll be starting tonight. Junior, she's been carrying the load pretty much this year. Amelia Harris, the leading scorer in the league, in the Buckeye division. Joe Young is right behind her. And Aaron Doom, Coach Tom Woodford. I'm sure they are because uh, two of them I do recognize. Yeah, they look like they're like gym outfits. But the, um, let's see which one. They are. The one in the middle, I recognize her. She's a senior. She's on the varsity cheerleading squad. It's her outfit they use to go to camp with. Yeah, it probably is. <clears throat> and then there's a taller one right behind the back that I recognize her. There's a tip. Plains controls the tip. <coughs> How about that turnaround square up there? Good fundamental move there. Showing the ball. Moving the ball. London's going to what play a man to man. Could look for a real slow game. Well, but just sped up a little bit. Okay, y'all can't stand up there. Okay, back to the game. We had a bunch of young ladies up here going to do some stats and get right in front of us. We couldn't see anything. I know people probably wonder what I'm saying. Well, you can't stand up there. Harris makes her move to the inside. Cindy Long, she's blocked. No foul. Got a lot of hustle there. As Liz gets on the floor, she did a kind of a weird looking flop there, didn't she? She saved it. Looked like she could have been hurt. She's able to hold, keep her head up. We don't have a score yet. Joe Young said she'll put it on the board for him. 
It doesn't go. Harris back up. It's no good. And we got, oh, no, we got a foul on Liz Hamilton. I thought it was jump ball first. There's another one of those tie-ups that is also close, whether it's a foul or an actual tie-up. Four out of five times they're going to call a foul anyway. Yeah. Young attempted to steal. London's in a full-court press trapping situation. Come out of that. And we have a kickball for Aaron Doom. I think both teams are kind of wired up right now. So it's going to be nip and tuck here for the first few minutes of the quarter. Stephanie Rader was real good last year, but she hasn't scored that much. Almost. And we got an out of bounds to London. And their leading scorer is 11.1 is uh, Stephanie uh, Payton. Payton. In one game, she had 18. It's number 22. London's trying to force it in the middle there. They're coming out of their game. I think they want to get it out there and just make the Plains play their game. Like Thomas said, we're running Dallas. Now let's see what that is. London sets up in a 1-2-2 two, two, back cut. Double screen. Young's attempt, and it's no good. And we still have a score of 0-0. Zero, zero, we're down to 5-16 in the contest. And as the Plains is really packing it in tight, keeping everything outside. But they can't hit the trees. That's where they're can... going to have to move Harris out and let her stroke a couple. And get out of bounds play. What, I didn't mean to cut you off, no. If uh, London can't hit the threes, it could be a little more difficult for him to score. Seems like London's had a little trouble against the press, against the uh, zone defense. I think they'd prefer to play against a man-to-man. -man. Well, there's a lot of ways you can get open shots. Trade like right there could have been one. As Harris moves around, ball to the middle. Doom with her patented move, and she's taken. Here comes number 20. I'll give you a name and number in a minute. And they still no score. <laughs> two two putbacks, no score. And number 20 is uh, Tracy Creamer. Have a 20 second timeout, London. 434. This doesn't look like the same team we watched against Bexley. They've had a lot of good quick starts in the first quarter over the year. Well, I think it'll come back to normal now. Usually, uh, you disrupt the lineup. They got a different, had a new starter in there, Cindy being a senior, and they let it give her the starting role. And now we got the five starters been starting all year. A lot of kids are play better coming off the bench. Lindsay DePriest, number 12. So, Madison Plain draws first blood. They look like they're not going to make it easy for us. As Craner pumps one up, hits the front of the rim, doesn't go. Three girls on the floor. Oh, what a save. <laughs> and we got a jump ball, and the ball wasn't nobody held. She juggled that two times on her, on her one hand. Game, con game control, <laughs> threw it back. I don't know if the ball, of course, it just has to, a block can be a jump ball. Leonard's got to get back into their offense. Get things rolling now. Harris makes a move and she draws a foul. It's a non shooting foul. Foul's on number 10. Allison Junk. A 
missed that play there. Good block. Craner gets a shot up and gets a block, and we have another foul. Uh, number 12. That's on number 12. So they keep this up. They'll be in foul trouble. None of them able to go, go to the line and make something happen. There we go. Up, oh, little off. Running around, move the ball around the perimeter. Young in her little quick German hit, no go. Get that lid off of there. <laughs> you believe that? This happened the other day, though. Same thing happened the other day. I think Amelia was thinking about that when she went up. She said, my gosh, nothing's going in. Oh, what a pass. 32, Stephanie Payton. That's 22. Yeah. Payton. Yeah. We got to score four zip, and Plains makes a steal. Two on one. Quick jumper. And 20. Not sure who that foul is on. Liz. Foul's on Liz Hamilton. That's her second. We have a score of four nothing as Stephanie Raider steps to the line. Shooting two. Not seen the first one. Cindy Long's back in the game for Liz Hamilton. Dan Lund is down by six. This is unusual. They get on track here in a few minutes. Craner makes it turn around. Ball back up top. Harris looking. Good crossover dribble. Doom gets caught under the bucket. It don't go. Harris is shot up. It don't go. I think we've had about six, six to eight shots, and not one of them fall yet. Allison Junk. She's calling the shots up top. This could be a situation where, you know, you look at the team's record, and maybe London coming here taking them a little bit too lightly. There we go. Lee Harris makes it in his first two, and we're down to a minute 43 in the first oh, quarter. Travel. Oh, I got a no call there. Oh, that's their Harris big score. with the rebound. Peyton. Peyton had the left. She stood in the red long enough as Craner makes a move to the bucket. Jump shot's no good. They're letting him play because there was definitely a foul there. She's able to keep control of the ball. Six to two, Madison playing. Joe Young goes for the steal and gets called for a foul. In order to make that steal, you got to be mighty quick. And have awful quick hands too. Yeah, Emily Erst. Emily Erst. She's out. out yeah, she's uh, hurt or something. Let's see where she hasn't been in the box score of the, in the paper. Number 32. Stephanie Raider makes the score up to eight to two. London's got scored two points this quarter. Out of bounds, uh, Young trying to get the ball into Doom. The denial by uh, number 32, Stephanie Rader, knocks the ball out of bounds. They're not getting any open passes that are forcing it. We got Young open there. That'll count for two. Eight to four. 
We're down to 23 seconds in the first quarter. This might be a record low for London first quarter. Twelve seconds, smart move on uh, Doom's part to hold the ball up. And we're going to run this quarter out with a score of eight to four. Got two seconds left on the board. Two second shot. Amy, I didn't see her going to game. That's Amy, uh, Amy Brake. She had the open shot. Uh, London's missed about four three four three point shots. And about six to ten two point shots. So you've got a good shot of the scoreboard. We got a score of eight had a score of eight to four there. This is unusual. I don't have much to count here. No, I, I got all I'm right on mine. <laughs> I'm sure Tom's gonna give him a wake up call here. They played one of their better games against Bexley, and I understand they was when they got home they were just wore out, just dead tired. I see where Bexley's third in the league, four and five, seven and nine in the BAC. They've lost a lot. Of, Bexley lost a lot of close games. Three, four, five, six points. Yeah. So London has been, you know, I don't know how good a hitter Davidson is. I know, I know they're Division One. London, from what I understand, was right in the game with them right up to the last, you know, right down to the last moment. So we've got some Division One players out there that could play Division One ball on the London team here. Start the second quarter, and we got Cindy Long, Doom, Young, Craner, and Harris. And we got to travel. That's one of the few turnovers I've seen tonight so far. See the um, catch the ball. Craner comes back. Re recovers back out the long. They're trying to get it inside, and they're trying awful hard to get inside to Doom, and they're packing in on them and forcing turnovers. I didn't. I think that was not a bad pass. It just was a good steal. Yeah. They're packing it in and using the denial hand. Ooh, there's a good, good board shot. Just nice, rimmed nice, out. Nice delivery. Harris, a little short. We still have a score of eight to four. This is one of our lower scoring games so far. We might have to go back away to see where London scored before only scored four points in the first, in one quarter. Oh, we had a good travel there. Whistle's right on the button, wasn't it? The cheerleaders have to stand at ease most of the game. They, they probably get wore out just standing down there. <laughs> Joe Young to Craner. Coach is trying to explain to him he wants him to attack the seams of that zone. There's a good seam shot. Liz Hamilton gets blocked by number 20, Tracy Creamer. Tracy Creamer's five foot ten. And we got another another missed three to point attempt. Rebound just bounced off of Liz's arms. The basket blocked her view. We're gonna have to have a wake up call here. There's another turnover. Here comes Craner. Ooh, in and out. Doom back up. It don't go. And out 
off of Liz Hamilton. Coach is going to try to put a little pressure on them, but they got two players behind them. Near steal. It worked. Hey, Liz Hamilton. So now we have a score of eight to six. Just patience is what it's going to take. They had one turnover on the press, and they're right on to get it corrected. Get a good shot of the faithful fans. I'm trying to figure out who that was. Pressure might bite the planes pretty hard. Oh. Yeah. I thought that ball was coming up here, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> that was in a 3D movie. I was telling Carl, he was talking, I was telling some guys downstairs, I didn't want to, I wasn't that crazy about doing baseball games. And I was watching that thing on TV where a hockey puck went right through the camera lens. Wow. And that baseball was wrapped around our, cam our camera more than once. They're hard to do. Let us get him, have him show a little more patience now. Work inside the dune, turn around jumper, it's in. Book press that time pretty easy. And then didn't know where to go after she got it. And Liz Hamilton comes up with the ball. Comes Harris, she's going to go all the way she can, far she can go. What do he call? Call it off trainer. Young is trying to make that little sneaky steal, but it hadn't worked so far. Pass into the post. Uh, Should have used the board. Get that on the board. She, that's that's that no man's land where. Yeah. Doom comes up with another rebound. Forcing Liz. Liz, no. A lot of pressure. She will be shooting too. Did he call that on the floor? No, he get two shots. Trouble all around. Couldn't get that one to go either, huh? Three point shots aren't dropping. The layups aren't dropping. The foul shots aren't dropping. And this one's going in. I just took my jinx off now. Lennon's getting ready to take over. We got to jump to the ball. I know that. Oh, she got out of trouble that time. Near steal by Harris. Yep. That ball looked like I went out off of a green jersey that time. Oh. That was over and back. Well, you can throw it back out of bounds from anywhere. That's not what I'm saying. She was in the front court before she, and she jumped in the air. She was actually still in the front court when she caught the ball. She jumped across the line and caught the ball in the back court. And I think we got a push on Harris. Should be her first. London took the lead. Got a lead change now, 11-8. Right there, I would like to have seen Ashley just turn and look underneath and see whether somebody was breaking underneath rather than turn and try to dribble in. There was two people there, so it was going to be tough to go through that. Number 22, Stephanie Payton. Harry Dalmar gets the early end tonight. Well, Madison Plains went uh, four and a half minutes without a 
point. Well, Lennon's finally taking control, 11 to 9. Tell you what, them shots are getting blocked off Wheezy as Liz just controls it inside area. Oh, foul on number 32, Stephanie Raider, and that looked like a good denial block out. Last year, I, and Stephanie Raider had foul trouble, and still, still Madison Plains gave him all they wanted. She still hasn't shown to be a force like I thought she would be. We're looking to score a two-point difference right now, 11 to 9. Dobmar. Ooh. Into Liz. Won't go. This must be a lid on that bucket or something. We're down to three minutes in the first half. Let's score 11 to 9. Got a double dribble. Coach told uh, Dobmar to stop the ball right there, and the girl stopped dribbling when he said it. <laughs> I don't know whether the uh, offensive player from Plains thought he meant for her to stop or what. As soon as he said it, she stopped. We got Craner, Young, Dobmar, Harris, and Doom in the game. Young makes that little fake jumper hit. Don't go for it. Number 20, we got a tie ball game. Stacy Creamer. 11 11. I'm not believing this. Somebody wants to travel and somebody wants to. on Tracy Creamer. We're down to 214 mark. There Doom. That makes her four points. They give it to the right person. Ooh, she moves that foot too. Yeah. That girl's got best. good move inside. The ball don't go, but that's a beautiful, beautiful move. Too bad. Doom comes up with the ball. London's up 13 to 11. With, uh, who? I said too bad because that was too good of a shot by her not to go in. I, mean, I want to see us win, but I want to see a good ball game too. I'm an equal opportunity cheerleader. Oh, there's a, they're not calling anything. And the thing of it is, as long as you know what they're going to call or not going to call, uh, you go after them. As number 32, Stephanie Rader knocks in two more and one. Liz got three already. And he left her in there. Uh, maybe not. Oh, I checked on... Uh, we were talking about why they don't go in. Now, right now, it's a one, one shot, so they go in. The other reason they don't go in, uh, like if it's a two-shot play, it's good by number 22, Stephanie Payton. The other, the reason that they don't let them go in, uh, call them in, is because it saves time. You put them in, they shoot the first shot, and then all of a sudden they buzz it, and then some, they send somebody else, and they stop the game again. So, to cap that, that, that would have been a travel error, wouldn't it? And I think Harris will be going to the line shooting two. So, if they send, she's. She wasn't shooting? I think Amelia thought so too, and I, I did, did too. too. We 
we got a complete different lineup in here. We got half part of the reserves in. Finally caught Young. She's gonna have to chill it a little bit now. She's been she's been very aggressive so far and gotten away. She's gotten away with at least three fouls. Yeah, the plains coach one went right down here. I, I didn't see it real close, but it could have been a foul. Dalmar with the steal. Young, that could. <clears throat> Did you see her put her shoulder down? Well, she, I'm not trying to rag on him, but I'm just she, calling the game. Just calling what I'm seeing. She knew she had uh, Stephanie Rader on her, but uh, as far as the size, but also it's good be, it'd be good to get the third foul on Stephanie. We got a one-point game, 14 to 13. Uh, a little miscommunication there. As a pass into uh, Stephanie Payton, she's wide open. I don't think she was expecting it. One-point game. London twisted around. Mm-hmm. London's on the losing end right now. This is, like we say, cross-county rivals. Young's three-point attempt, it doesn't go. And the clock goes off for the score. 14 to 13. See, I have a hard time <clears throat> if I was the coach because you got to believe that they're really playing hard. They're trying hard. Things just aren't going they, well. That's right. They're not going well. And they're, not, they're not doing right. And uh, I don't know. For some reason, to me, it looks like they're really not in this game. There's just a couple players just look like they're just not, I don't know, maybe it's come out with the attitude that this team ain't no good and we're going to beat it. We're just going to run away with them. And that's just my thinking. That don't make it so. Well, the Madison Plains is playing a good press. They got nothing to lose and everything to gain, saying they beat the number one team. And London, if they win tonight, they automatically uh, win the league. So if they lose tonight, and I don't see that, see that happening. Um, they'll have to beat Lakewood to. Uh, and yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, Saturday's for the. Who did Jonathan Alder beat? I think Jonathan. Yeah, Jonathan Alder beat Lakewood the other day. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Jonathan Alder. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Licking Valley. Shut down Licking Valley. Yeah, Licking Valley is not as good as Lakewood. But Lakewood got beat the other day too. The same day that London lost. Um, to uh, Hilliard Davidson, uh, Lakewood that, got beat also. So I think that was Jonathan Older also. It might have been. So um, they got beat, and that put us in a situation where we actually could control our own destiny right now. We got 8:30 to go and get some good shots of the fans. Get some close-ups, see who's here and see who's not. Jonathan Alder had one of their starters that wasn't even playing the other night. I can't remember her name, but I, I know they have a starter. That, I think of, let me see if she's even in the, she might be in the scores. Find out there. Somebody's hiding from the camera, Carl. I think. <laughs> Newcomer. Oh no, it's writing on his back. Newcomer. Newcomer is a starter for Jonathan Alder and she didn't, she didn't score or didn't play the other night when they beat Licking Valley 57 to 35. It's a 22 point win. Well, London had a big win the other night too. About a 30 point win, I think it was. And Jonathan Alder was up on that team 30 to 9 at the half. Pretty good first half. Yeah, but just like Coach told me the other day, even though we had a 30 point uh, advantage. It's not over till it's over. And today we're down down one at halftime. No, I don't think anybody expected this. There was an awful lot of cars out front. I thought there'd be more people here. But it's not really. I that think big. there's something. Well, a lot of them, uh, freshmen had a game at uh, over at Bexley, so they met here and uh, okay, and then take the bus over. Oh, the freshman boys, that's right. Yeah. And then there might be something going on out in the commons, because I've been seeing a lot of people walking in and out of the door. 
in the suits and ties. I think there might be something going on out in the commons. My grandson, granddaughter, who was up here the other week with me, uh, she's going to a father-daughter dance tonight with her dad. And she said, you, she said, you know dad can't dance. So I don't know what he's going for. <laughs> can't dance like they do today. <sighs> he wasn't talking about me, because I can, I can get down now, I'm telling you. That right, Carl. I got, I, <laughs> I got some moves I ain't even in the book. So we got a score of 14 and 13. I'll give you a quick rundown. And did I did I already do that? We got Craner with two, Hamilton with three, Harris with two, Young with two, and Doom with two. So uh, Let's see what happens here at halftime. New, new strategy or pepping them up or? Well, the last time the game they did that, Harris had like um, two points in the first quarter and ended up with uh, 14 in the second and 25 for the game. So second and third quarter is usually her, or that game was her big output. Joe Young is usually con consistent the whole game. She's figured out these officials, so she knows how to use her body and get around some of these people and attempt steals and make steals and not get fouls called, although she has been caught a couple times. I was very surprised that the Bexley team allowed Amelia to get some three-point shots off. Yeah. And I'm sure that... that uh, Plains is trying to keep her from getting them. I'm trying to say his name. He just made a bucket. He runs track and cross country. Glad, lad, yeah. He um, works the door. Fine kid. I don't know if he's already running a marathon or not. Uh, get a close up on him if you can there, Carl. I can't think of his first name. He used to live right behind me, too. But his last name is Lad. He runs on the track team, runs distant races. And you couldn't ask for a finer kid. I don't see a big a big deal about this game they're playing, but I coached a sixth grade boys team, and they'd rather play that than do anything else that we could do. <laughs> if I said, do whatever you want for a while, they just they would do this game. Go ahead and do this here. That game right there. you got to make the long one. If you make that one, you're in. The other person, if they make the, make the layup before you make it. Well, I see Coach Wilson's back already. I don't know what happened. Bexley's got a pretty tough team. And believe it or not, I think Bexley's had like about 14 or 16 games. I think we've been able to play about eight or nine because of weather and cancellations and stuff like that. Yeah, they Get a good close-up of Coach Wilson. They probably don't reschedule. Tom Wilson, they don't, I'm not, can't tell whether he's uh, happy or unhappy there. He don't look too happy, does he? Maybe somebody stole his horse. <laughs> that one he sent up to uh, Cal Can. Tom Wilson. He's, I tell you what, he's done a lot, a lot with those kids. Those kids really like him. Because he almost come into a situation where he had to take them from the ground floor up. And... Uh, it makes it kind of hard when you get to the freshman level and you still don't really have a concept of the whole game. You probably don't know what kind of records that that, 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 that freshman bunch had as 8th graders and 7th graders. Yeah, I think they might have won one game in the 7th and maybe won one in the 8th. Wow. They won one this year. The team they beat, they had a chance to go back and play them again. And the weather. <laughs> The weather kept him from going to play. So, we got two minutes and 18 seconds to go here. And they won a few games. Who's this, that? This year. London? A little bit of the freshman. No. Boys freshman. They've only won one, unless they won tonight. They only had like eight or nine games. And then they don't get much practice time. It's, we just don't have enough room here for as many teams as we got to get in here and get a well, you know, ample amount of practice time. Most schools have two gyms. Yeah. All of the most of the Division One teams have two gyms. Uh, maybe we'll get another one when we when we become Division One. 
the way this town's grown, we may be Division One for one of these days. Fourteen or thirteen. I had it made when I was coaching. We only had one gym, but we only had one team. Yeah. <laughs> so you had it all to yourself. It was an all boys school, and the reserve and varsity practiced together. So. No one was standing around waiting for us to get off. I don't think the girls' freshman team has had over five games this year, and that's uh, that's kind of rough situation to go a whole season and all that practicing and only have five games. I remember when my daughter played in the eighth grade; they had one game. It must have been in '77, <laughs> the blizzard year. No, this didn't have any teams, didn't have any schedule. Uh, and finally, I got them a game, and I uh, can't remember who it was with. We scored 22 points, and Cheryl had 21 of them. Yeah, that's the boss of cheerleaders. Well, it's always better to see a close game, but let's face it, folks, we don't want that tonight. I don't care if it's close, as long as I like to see us come out on top and go ahead and win this league. But I'd like to see a little more scoring. If it ended up being 66 to 65, as long as we win, like my man Tiger Woods. <laughs> Can you believe that guy? Oh, that is. He's superhuman. You just wonder someday if he'll go out and shoot about 40 <laughs> under par. <laughs> 10 under par for each four, each, all four days. I think every shot he attempts is for the, for the cup. Lennon's taking the inside. Liz nice up too pass. quick. Lennon's coming out a little tougher this time. Excellent pass, Amelia. Just a little handoff. What would you call that, a high-low? And Liz does it on the other end also. Scores and comes back and gets the rebound. London's going to put a little pressure on him. They're looking inside. Doom. Harris makes a little turn. No good. Room rebound. Bankboard got that one. London did go ahead and lead, lead change 15 to 14. She gave it that little power girl, but she couldn't get it off the board. Well, if that shot went. Junk ain't afraid to put it up. I don't know if she can score or not, but she ain't afraid to put it up. Good block by Harris. She's on the run, but Green comes up with the ball. Turn around, look in, jump, no good. Ha, how about that save? Nice pass. Uh, the referee thought about it. He wanted to call charging, but changed his mind. Yeah, that was a hard call because Joe did have her position established. And that's one of those misunderstood rules where if you got your position established, the foul is not on you. You have the right to that area. Trainer sets up top 15 14 London. Inside the Doom. She lost handle back out to Harris. Harris sets up, makes a little move. Inside, it's no good, and the ball stays to London. Harris looks like she travels when she makes that move around her, don't she? I, didn't, I couldn't tell for sure, but it looks like she does. And that's, she does. A lot of times when I've tried to catch it on the, on the replay and played it back four and five times, I still couldn't tell. Looks like she takes a little, little skip shot jump there. Doom a little strong. Harris back up, it won't go. Hamilton to the rescue. That ball just won't go in, will it? 17-14, London. 
we get this championship, we're going to have to earn it, to, earn it tonight, ain't we? Unless Plains falls apart here in a few minutes. It's going to be the critical bucket here for Plains. Uh-oh, still for London. Here comes Look at Liz Young. beating everybody down. Turn around and jump. Oh, in and out. Harris's won't go either. Somebody won the foul, but it's still important move, uh, position here. <laughs> Nothing hurt as long as nobody scores, I guess. Young and gets it blocked by number 10, Junk. Out of bounds to London. Bank board blocked me out there. Lou, I couldn't see. Got a full timeout match and playing. We have a score of 17 to 14. London's got four points in this quarter so far. There's no doubt that London is playing better. Still not scoring a lot more. Well, they scored four points in the first quarter and nine in the uh, second. You know that fellow in the front row in the red jacket? He used to coach at Madison. Yeah, yeah, His last yeah. name is Justice. Ray, Ray Justice. Mm -hmm. He also done some coaching up at Hilliards. Mm -hmm. He's a really good coach. He um, disciplined the kid, and somebody didn't like it down the Madison Plains, and uh, they kind of forced him out of there. He went up to... Higgers and done a super job up there. Super guy. You, you couldn't meet a nicer person. But that was back in the day when you could discipline them. You know. Let them know you're the boss. Tracy Kramer in, in for uh, Plains. Joe Young takes, she's thinking about it. Study long and study wrong. Oh, we got a jump ball call. I don't think the Plains folks were too happy about that call. Wow. Number 10, Allison Junk. 17-16, we got a ball game running one point, and Harris looked like she was fouled, no call. So that ball didn't even clear the bottom of the, of the net. This is just more of a block. It could have been. Now there was a jump off, there ever was one. Look at this. How about this? And Liz is going to be the savior. Doom in tough. Can't get the roll. And we got another mix up under the bucket. <laughs> and Liz Jeez. Hamilton to the rescue. And she also has showed good sportsmanship by helping up Allison Junk. I've heard of grease pig before. That was a grease basketball. <laughs> Take your shot. The guns, we're, we're, we're kind of gun shy. Hey, Aaron Dune picks up her for fourth point, 19-16. We need a couple more points here to get a little breathing room. So what I'm saying looks like they want the ball a little bit more than we do. You know, we did come up with it that time. <clears throat> Plains goes down. They're going to go down swinging. Oh, Damn. what was that? Fishers are letting them play now. This is almost the next thing to playing on the playground. Two. Stephanie Rader. Stephanie Rader, like you said, 1918, one point game, London. We're down to the 238 mark. Get a quick shot at the clock. 
Timeout London with 2.38 to go in the third quarter. This is uh, one of them games like they used to play back in the 20s, ain't it? Where you didn't, 30 was high. If you got 30 points, you really did something. Well, yeah, there was a lot of games in the past years where the score was under 40 all the time. Got a little play on the cheerleaders there and their practice uniforms. London's finest. I tell you what, we got Coach uh, Woodford sweating tonight because it don't seem like nothing's going our way. This Plains coach is working hard too. He's now he's got to be happy so far with a score like that. And a record like they've got. You know what they always say, if you just keep it close enough to give yourself a chance to win. Yeah. Well, it bounced around like a, what would you call it, a Nerf ball or something? Doom finally comes up with the steal. You make enough passes, you're going to turn it over. There we go. Here we go. Oh, man. Nice turn. Reiner turns around. Jumper's no good. Our shooting percentage is going way down tonight. 19 to 18. Turn around move. Stephanie Raider. Stephanie Raider. And the Eagles take the lead. Looking inside the Doom, it doesn't go. Doom doesn't quite get squared up when she takes that shot, does she? She's kind of coming off sideways. She's tired, too. No call. <laughs> They're letting them just about do anything they want. Young was able to tip that one away. I learned the guy getting their offense set pretty quick. Plains is coming back down and not letting them get in it. As like Doom well, misses one, is. she called board, but it just didn't work. Good form, good follow through, and the ball still won't go. Over. You know, if I if, if I was Liz Hamilton, I would learn a little jump hook. Little jump hook like Ken, like Ken Johnson does. Yeah. With even 6'11", Ken Johnson, he he can't turn a tur shoot a turnaround. I know. He get it blocked. So if she had a little jump hook, you get that get that shot off a little better. I think Young is going to take over. Doom. We are still in the third quarter. We are at the finish of the third quarter, lining up one point. Twenty one. To 20. We picked up uh, eight points that quarter, so we are <laughs> four, nine, and eight. If it has gone for three quarters this way, it can certainly go to four. Uh-oh, we had cheerleader going through some gymnastics there. A few backflips. She must be the only one. I don't see any other volunteers. 
I know, um, no, I think it's not allowed to do pyramids in league games. I think. Huh? Okay. Hopefully we won't need that game for um, the championship. 21 to 20. putting pressure on Liz and she got three fouls so have another league change 22-21 favor of Stephanie Raider F10 almost half of their points they're not letting Young get into her rhythm either she'll make a move and they'll pinch her no sooner as she gets the ball, they're, they, they're, they got somebody on, right in her face. The surprising thing about it is that it doesn't look like Madison Plains is overplaying Joanne and Amelia. I know. It. They're playing them straight up. They're just jumping to the ball. There we go. That just gives her four points for the contest. That's unusual. Plains makes two attempts and neither one of them fall. Harris looking for Liz Hamilton, the savior. She hits almost every one of those shots off the board, but she didn't that one. Yeah, it got a good bounce off the rim, fell in. She didn't even look at the basket. Twenty-five, twenty-two, London Harris goes up strong. Nothing happened. I think she said she was fouled. Or she's tired or something. 25-22, London. I think he's only got about seven or eight players. If he's got that many. What, what team? The freshman girls. Who's coaching the freshman? Daniels, I can't say his first name right now. Jerry, yeah. Jerry Daniels. We got into six uh, minutes and 11 seconds, and we still have a good game going here. Anybody's game. If either team can just hit two or three shots in a row, they're going to take control of the game. If London gets a couple baskets now. They None is packing it in. Evidently, they don't sweat the the long shot. Cindy Long with the rebound. Joe Young's looking. That's what kind of set he's got going here. Now we want to bring him out. They're going to try man to man. They're going to try to stay in it, but just pressure the ball. Uh-huh. Just run time off the clock. And this could be to their advantage. Get down that close. Good save by Doom. And it gets fouled. 
But this uh, non-shooting foul. This is the fourth quarter and only one foul for each team. <laughs> yeah. Now the Madison Plains has two, so it doesn't look like foul is going to be a factor. Craner, she's good. There's Sophomore that more comes through in a the clutch. There's that two he's looking for. Looks up to 27 to 22. We may have rattled planes now. Kick ball by Doom. That's a good way to get a little break, huh? I know one thing. I'd keep that Stephanie Raider down in there low post. I don't think she's going to do a lot up there at the high post. Well, the bigger, well, we're down to four minutes, so Liz and them can put a little pressure on her. Just when I say that, she does. 27-24, we got a one possession game here. 425 to go in the contest. London better look to score. Somebody's not flashing that middle. And we got to travel on Craner. She ran into about three green jerseys there, nowhere to go. And oh, good <laughs> lucky for Harris being back there. They'd had an easy two, and I don't think that uh, 22, what's her name, Stephanie Payton, I don't think she had a clue that Harris was that close. She just controlled that ball. She'd have had an easy shot. She just felt like she had to walk in the park. 27-24, we're below four minutes now. That's the shooter. 27-26. Wow. <laughs> Craner misses the three-point attempt. I think it was three-point attempt, but it was long shot anyway. That line will throw you off. Did you see her travel? Blocked by Harris. Good pass. She just thread the needle that time and who but. That gives Liz about 11 right now for the contest. Oh, pretty jump shot. Didn't go, but that was a pretty move. I said a while ago, I don't know whether the girls are not feeling good or what, but she didn't really look, look like she went after that ball that hard, did she? Plains is, is, is more aggressive to the ball. London's ahead, to, now that was a good one there. 29-26. There's your play, you want it. Didn't go in, but it was there. Craner Young, we gotta get this experience to take over. There we go. Well, I keep saying that, and that ball will not go in for her. I know she's gotta be frustrated. She only have it about two or three. Two points. Carl, what happened? Try that down there. That's moving, and when it's moving, it must be pulling, it, pulling itself out. I probably should have hung it, put it on the floor. I think you had it hanging somewhere before, and that's why I just hung it up because that loop was on it. <clears throat> 29 
29 to 26, London. Yeah, we got to get this win and get out of here and get this bad game out of our system. And get the championship sewed up and play relaxed on Saturday. I think you said you weren't going to be able to make a start either, didn't you? Right now it's iffy. 27-29 as at number 20, Tracy Kramer to line. She makes them both. One point game. We're down to 217 mark. Get the ball to the experience. You know, I, I don't really think we've really been looking to score that much. I think we've got in a mode where, I don't know what it's, we've got the feeling we can't. Joe Young, she'll try it. It don't go. Nobody goes after the ball. And Plains can take the lead right here. Foul on Young, that's her fourth. We're down to 144. Sophomore, no, she's not shooting. Yeah, it's still. And you know, there's been a way a lot more fouls than that's been in this game. There's only been six total fouls in this, this, in this half. That's five on her. I didn't. I missed one. That could hurt. We're down to under two minutes. Somebody's going to step it up. And they cut Raider. Still, they got, they still got three fouls to give. Should have looked under. 29-20, I got a feeling they're, not, they're a little bit nervous about shooting right now. Yeah. <laughs> if we, if, see how uh, Plains is jumping to the ball? And the coach just snatched one of his players up off the bench. And I, she's going to say, wow. They feel like they can win this game. 29-28. London by one. Got to be looking for Liz. What Plains ought to do is disguise a box and one or something so that they look like they're playing man to man, but they're not. Oh, they didn't like that call. That's called threading the love wall, walking the tightrope, ain't it? Uh, and London just turned the ball over with one minute to go. Number 12, Lindsay DePriest. She hadn't been in for a while. I don't know why the Plains coach doesn't call timeout. You think he would be pretty important. What's he gonna do? They're gonna run it down. Now he's calling time out. All right. Yeah, he's got to. Got to tell him what to do. Yeah. Now London's got to be aggressive, but not over aggressive to get a foul. It's basically a shooting foul. They got two fouls to give. As far as foul, but um, I think I think if I was London, I'd go back in the zone and make him beat you from outside. That nobody's made anything from outside tonight so far. I think that thing in the paper where it said that they, they won this game tonight would give them championship. Has put, they've put a lot of pressure on themselves. Knowing that it winning this game is going to give them the championship. Plains is into it. Near steal by Harris. That's a good call. That's a good call. Harris is able to get over there and tip the ball. And went right across the right across the green. Green hands. We got 55 seconds to go in this contest, Lou, and we got a contest. It's called the barn burner. A win is a win, but 
even if they do win, they're going to be a little bit uh, depressed. I was real happy for them after they beat Bexley so good because they were going to go into the tournament with a little, little oomph. And if they could have won this game easily and then won Saturday, they'd really go into the tournaments. I don't know what kind of uh, scores that uh, Plains have been losing by, but they're showing in the league here. 0-9 oh, and 1-14. And and I think they won their first game of the year this year. They've been averaging like 40 points a game. L London's also rated second in uh, Division Two in the area. Hartley's the only one above them. Is that right? I really think they put a lot of pressure on themselves. Double dribble. Good call. Good call. He caught it with two hands. I've seen that, yeah. I was surprised he caught it. He was, he was in the position to see it. He was in a good position. And London's see. panicking. We still got 50 seconds and we're ahead. Get the ball and get it down the floor. There we go. But they still had some fouls to give. So the more time they get off the clock. Yeah, this is, this, this is one of the bad parts about that rule is you got to get them on the line to shoot one and one. Yeah. So you might as well foul, foul, foul. She's foul, girl. They, ain't gonna, they probably ain't going to call one. Lennon's going into a spread the floor tactic. I hope we can do it. Last time I seen him do it. Fouled Harris, and she's her best foul free throw shooter, I believe. She still is the shooting. That's right. Still got two. One, one more to give. We're down to 32 seconds. It was 50 seconds. They should have just fouled two times right quick. And then put them on the line for one. Get the ball in play and get out of that corner. That's right. She should. You don't want to put her on the line. No, she's not. Still is only... They're running a lot of time off the clock. So now the next shot they shoot. Is that right? Yeah. Shoot on seven. Lane ain't got nobody going to... Lane's is putting pressure on, and London is not... Seemingly, for some reason, they're not being able to get anybody open. Well, London ought to have a situation, have a, a way to get the ball out of bounds that they put the ball in uh, Amelia's hands. Yeah. Since she's the best free throw shooter. She's the best free throw shooter, but she's not the best ball handler. No, but. Uh, so what do you do? I don't think they can steal it from her without fouling her. At this point in the game, it's going to have to be an awful good steal. And they, the only time she's ever been stripped is by that Valerie King from Courthouse. 29 28 is we get a shot of the Lady Eagles. No matter how this contest comes out, they can hold their head up. Win or lose, they, uh, they've uh, played a heck of a game. Both teams are. It's, it's a fight. It's been a defensive battle all the way. I would, if, I, if I was Plains, I would try real hard to foul anybody but Amelia and. Uh, and Liz. Yeah. I think anybody out there though can, well, Doom's been shooting pretty good from the free throw line. Come get it, come get it. That's what I said, get it to Amelia. They can't foul her, they don't. She's done a good job ball handling that time. Yeah, but if one more, she makes she makes two. No, I said seven. Okay, she's shooting now. One and one, 21 seconds. Come on, I already had her down here a while ago for one and one. Amelia, she's only got two points. We need it, and it don't go. Clay's going to call timeout. Twenty-nine to 28. has got some fouls to give, too. I think I'd, uh, I don't know, take a little time off the clock with that, in that situation. I'd put that ball in the high post, put 20 on the side. 
the 22 underneath. It's I wouldn't let them get that far down the floor. They'd be fouled with 19 seconds oh, to go. That's right. You should let them let yeah. play and then foul them. That'd be a couple fouls, yeah. Let them play and then foul them. And then when they get the ball finally, then you're only going to have five seconds. That's right. Good strategy there, Gary. I wasn't thinking that line. I forgot about that. 19 seconds, and we got two fouls to give. Well, you don't want to foul them early. You want to try to stall them back there. Yeah. Put pressure on the ball. Don't yeah. let them get. <clears throat> you got one point game. And Amy Brake, uh, what's she doing? He's not going to let her in? We, didn't, well, we should have had pressure on the ball. Go get it, London. Out of bounds to London. <laughs> Ten seconds, one point game here. Get the ball in. Craner hurt her elbow when she went down that time. Now we got to get the ball in. Ashley stole the ball. Ashley stole the ball. And Craner is fouled, and she'll go to the line. One second off the clock. There's still plenty of time. She was shooting. What are they doing? Craner's shooting too. She could put it uh, to a situation where uh, they'd have to make a three-point. She knocks in the first one. 30 to 28. We've seen a ball game. Need this one to assure an overtime. It don't go. Foul. Foul. Foul! They let her go all the way through. Oh. Oh, God. 30 to 28, London comes out and wins the championship. I don't know why they didn't foul back there and make them... It turned out that way, but that girl got all the way oh, to the bucket. I see what you mean. Yeah. You if she had scored, it had been it. overtime. Well, that's a tough one. Right? They let her go all the way to the bucket, and she just blew it, didn't, didn't make it. One heck of a game. I'll see if I can get a run down here. All right. Natalie Earst uh, over there got a bad bad a leg or knee or something. She's got a big brace on it. And I'll give you a quick rundown for London. I, got, I had Craner with five points and uh, score was, final score was 30 to 28 to 28. And um, I have Hamilton. She's the leading scorer with 11 points. She really uh, stepped up her game and made the big plays when they needed. Harris was held to two points. That's unbelievable. And Young was four. And those two girls alone had like, what, 40 points between them uh, last game or more. And uh, Doom ended up with uh, six points. And I'm losing my voice, Lou, so you take over from here. Uh, oh, here's the play. Missing some points. Oh, don't take no points. Ste from. Stephanie Rader had 12, <laughs> and Stephanie Payton had six. Tracy Creamer, 6, DePriest, 2, and Allison Junk, 2, 18, 24, 26, 28. I thought I was going to see a little bit more celebrating than I did since this game did give them the outright championship, the way I understand it. So, but anyway, it won heck of a game, 30 to 28. London comes out victorious. A win is a win is a win. Congratulations to the team. They won the league. Yeah. And this is Gary McNeil and Lou Mott saying, along with Carl King on camera, saying, I don't know if we'll be here Saturday or not, but in the meantime, see ya. Go ahead and keep winning. Wouldn't want to be ya. Adios. <laughs>